I have a Goodwill bin tall. <laughs> I have to move some stuff out of the way because it's, I had to get a thumbnail. All right, I don't know where to start, but we're just gonna start with this bag over here that's falling on me. Uh, this is multiple Goodwill bins trips in Los Angeles. Um, and I found some bread and butter, I found some good stuff. So we're just gonna jump right in. And I do have a couple solds, I'll share those in a second. But this, I really love. I'm such a flannel fan. I should start with what I'm wearing. I'm not selling this, but I'm wearing it because I'm keeping it. Uh, this is just a Zara green sweater. It's the essential Zara line, and it's just a little crew neck sweater. I also got these jeans, which are good American. So what can I say? I shop the bins. I love finding stuff at the bins, and it just adds to the fun, you know? All right, this is cloth and stone. If this were two sizes larger, this would be in my closet as well. But I love the yellow plaid on this. It does have some light pilling, but it's kind of all over. Um, so I think it's just kind of the design, the style. But I really like this. It's great for the season. Cloth and stone doesn't get too much for me, but it's a bread and butter item for me. So where am I going to put this stuff? We're going to create a pile right there. So with that one, I'll probably get somewhere between 20 to 25, depending on how long it sits. But lightweight at the bins. I'm happy with it. Um, I picked this up because I like floral. This is definitely an older express tag. This reminds me of my high school. This is very Y2K. I graduated in the year 2000. Um, and I could see some of my friends wearing this with a pair of Doc Martens. And I'm pretty sure that this is the same tag from high school. So <laughs> it's a size 11, 12. Um, I have not had much luck with Y2K stuff. I haven't picked up too much of it because it really does remind me of high school, but um, it's just, yeah, I'm not modeling stuff. I'm not, I don't have a lot of the stuff. So I don't think people are drawn to it in my closets or stores, but this one I just couldn't leave behind. Now I did put this on the size six mannequin that I have. And some people ask how I know it's a size six. I bought it brand new. The measurements line up. Every size six fits on it. Um, so I have to trust that when I bought it, it's, you know, I mean, obviously a size six from every woman isn't going to be the same, but I did buy a size six mannequin and that's why I call it that. But this is very snug at the chest. So this is a size 11, 12, maybe for someone who was zero chest <laughs> because I had a hard time getting it and it's not a busty mannequin. So, I mean, she's got a little something, but she's not that anyways, this runs a little small on the chest is all I'm trying to say, but I just thought it was so cute. Little button front. I'm sure someone could rock that. I'll probably only get 15 to 20 for that. Um, I'm hoping for 20, but if it sits too long, then it will be marked down. I do mark down twice a year, usually right after my uh, semi-annual sales. And I do have a 50% off sale off of everything coming up January 1st through the 4th. Um, it's just my new year, new you sale. I don't know. I don't know what I call it, but um, here is a cloth and cloth and stone skirt. Maybe this was the same person. This is a size 28 and I think it's pretty cute. Cloth and stone. I've never tried selling a skirt from them, but this is definitely more of a summer item. It just looks really comfortable and casual and, um, jean skirts or denim skirts, especially when they're soft and comfortable, um, I just don't think those go out of style for some people. So I'll probably only get about 20 to 25 for that. But those are kind of those average price points that I get at the bins. And everything at the bins is usually right around $2 for me. Some things are a little heavier, like sweaters, um, and some people are, or some things are tank tops. So $2 to 20, that's a good return. This is a Lucky Brand sweater, and I think I picked up a couple Lucky Brand items in these bags, but this is a brand I've sold a lot of. Some people still just feel comfortable with certain brands, so this is definitely a bread and butter. I do like the mid-length on this. I like the front pockets, and I like the space die. It's a little bit space die. I guess it's really not, but it kind of has a little bit of a space die look to it, but I just thought it was great for the season, a really great basic. I'm hoping for about 25 for this and a size small cardigan. I always, I always personally size down with cardigans because I don't like them to be too bunchy in the front. So I'm sure that could work with a size medium as well. But 
I was really surprised that this didn't have a spot. Uh, this brand, I think they sell at some department stores. I know they sell it at Nordstrom at least, but it's Sync Asep. So is that five and seven? Five of seven? Um, Anda toi, cat sink, say. I think I did French in another video recently. I'm just going to stop before anyone butchers me in the comment section. I'd never took French. I just had an older sister that taught me, tried to teach me to count to 10, and I've already forgotten half of it. But a beautiful, beautiful blouse. Um, love the ruffle. Love the lace. It's got the um, nude panel underneath, so it's not going to you know, be see-through but absolutely love the high neck. I found a few similar to this and some people were pricing these pretty high. It's not a cheap brand, but I think I have something else sold by or um, for sale for this brand and it hasn't sold yet. So maybe I'm pricing too high. Either way, it didn't look like there were any spots, which is great. And I think it's so pretty. It's a really nice spring summer item, but, um, but yeah, so it might sit, it's okay. I'm still hoping for maybe 40 maybe 50. I think I aimed a little high. I think I aimed at like 60 or 70. So we'll see. We'll do a lot of fingers crossed. Some of the stuff I listed a few weeks ago. So my memory is terrible. This is a little anthropology sweater. I love this color, this kind of rose color. It's a little bit of a high low front and then it has a button back. So I think it's pretty adorable. It is a size medium and it's anthropology moth. Uh, moth doesn't get too much for me. I tend to find it a lot, but I thought this was pretty cute. It's something that someone could put a jacket over. You could still wear it this uh, fall, winter, and it's also perfect for spring. So you could also layer this with shorts in the summer. So yeah, I like those pieces. And with that, I'm probably only gonna get, you know, 20 to 25, but that's okay. Here's another anthropology item. This is Saturday, Sunday, and this is another one that I think is kind of a multi-season, but it has some little color, not color block, patch. I don't know what you would call this, but it's you, you can kind of see that there's like a different material up on this corner, and then there's some lace accent down here, and then it kind of does the same thing back on the back as well. But mixed media, but it's, you get what I'm trying to say. It's a size small. And I love the nude color. Most of the material is this very soft, almost kind of like a wild fox sweater, that very soft material. And I like the nudes. That may have come off wrong, but that's okay. Um, with that, I'll probably get 20 to 25 as well. All right, this is a, I put this up on auction because I have another item. It's a vintage item. I have another item in my store that is by this brand. I also found it at the bins and it has a lot of watchers for the other item. And so I learned very quickly when I looked up comps that it's a fairly desirable vintage label, like desirable in the 50 to 100 range, some up to 200, but it's Young Innocent by Arpeja, A-R-P-E-J-A. -A. Uh, so this little red dress that's flawed, I have it listed for like $80, I did sell pretty quickly and then they didn't pay. So then it's relisted and I think it has like six or seven watchers. So I'm hoping to get 50 someday for that one. Uh, this is the same label, but it's a pant set and it's purple. So very different. Um, I just, I found some pant sets by this, like other people had listed. A lot of them have them listed between two and 300. This has some flaws. I mean, it's vintage, which is fine. I'll sell and just disclose, but I just didn't know how to price it. There were zero solds in the last 365 days on eBay. Um, I didn't check Etsy, so maybe I should go and check Etsy, but either way, I decided to throw, up on, throw it up on auction. So it's currently on auction. I started it at 49 and we'll see. I mean, I'll run it a couple times on auction. If it doesn't sell for that price point, I might just bring it down 10 bucks or I might just list it as buy it now with best offer turned on and I might mark it up to 80 bucks. But really, sometimes I just do auction to see, is this some amazing item that someone's gonna be willing to spend $200 on? And if I priced it originally at $80, then I might miss out on that. So I don't know why I choose to do auction sometimes, but it's typically when I don't know how to price something. 
and I learned from running it a couple times, even if it doesn't sell. So just a little pantsuit. It's got the little accent right here on the pockets. Uh, the flaw on this is there's a crease down the back of the leg and there's some discoloration like it was sitting in the sun folded and so there's some lighter spots on some of the crease lines so you know i don't think it's necessarily repairable i also don't think it's that obvious but i do like picking up things that i will throw up on auction just because i think auctions are fun and uh, worst case someone could get it for 50 bucks i think there is one or two watchers and by the time you're seeing it, this auction may be over. So it's either relisted on auction or it's sold, but we'll see. I do like taking chances on vintage pieces, especially from the bins. So, all right, this is a torrid swimsuit. It's like a little skirt, one piece. You know, it's got the one piece underneath and the little skirt on top. This is a size zero and it's got, you know, this part right here on the stomach kind of has that little ruching to kind of be a flattering look. So I don't know. I've never sold a torrid swimsuit. Some of the comps are pretty decent between 30 and 40. So we'll see. I mean, I'd be happy if I got 30, but maybe 35, you know, people going on vacation this winter, escape the snow. All right. Where are we at? Am I chatting too much? Hopefully you're working. Uh, by the time you're seeing this, this may be right after Thanksgiving. Um, and so I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving with friends or family, or you were just hanging out needing a break. Um, I have a good friend who she takes Thanksgiving and goes on a solo trip every year. And that's just her thing. I applaud all of that. Um, this is a free people cardigan. This is a really great, I think, piece for the season, obviously, because of the color. It's not really a bright red, but it still has that, obviously, that rust red look. And it's a very delicate, it looks like it's got a whole bunch of holes, but that's just, that is the style because it's all over. <laughs> at least that's what I'm telling myself. It's on both sides. I don't know if you can see all the, at first I was like, oh gosh, is it? No, I think that's just the style, but it is a size small and it's pretty cute. I'll probably hopefully get around 30 for that. This is J. Jill Love Linen. And it's a size large. Sometimes I feel like I've already shown certain things, but I also know that I just pick up a lot of J. Jill, so I probably showed a very similar item to this recently. Uh, this, or this whole bag is from another haul and I'm just, I've lost my mind. This is a uh, size large button front. It's got an adorable little print. It's, it almost looks like a paisley print, but it's not. It almost looks like a leaf print, but you know, this is a great piece. If so someone's going on vacation, throw this with a pair of shorts um, or this coming summer when you're wanting a nice linen piece. I feel like print on linen hides the wrinkles a little bit better, but uh, bread and butter, I'll probably get 20 to 25 for that. I found a few Lululemon items at the bins recently. Lululemon active wear uh, in about a month. So I'm filming this Thanksgiving week. In about a month, people are going to start going, oh, I've eaten so many cookies and pies and delicious stuff. Uh, and they'll just want to set those New Year's resolutions. So they might go on a little bender, spend some of their holiday money on some new workout clothes. Um, I don't see a huge influx personally, so I wouldn't go crazy personally on the active wear. But I do like to keep an eye out for active wear, especially if I'm in a regular thrift store. I might hit up that section of the thrift store a little bit more this time of year just to see if I can find any good pieces. But another white piece at the bins. I'm, uh, is that a little spot? I'm telling you, that is like the most tiny spot. Sometimes you get, well, it's not really, it's, that's just a wrinkle. Is that a wrinkle? Oh my gosh, I get this under lights and I'm like inspecting thinking something has to be wrong. But I've sold this top before. The little logo is back here in silver, so it's probably pretty hard to read. Um, it's got a little bit, bit of a baby doll look to it, and I think this was a size six or a size eight, um, eight. But hopefully that's not a spot. I'll give it another look, but it's pretty cute. I'll probably only get about 20 to 25 for that. Lululemon, unless it's some really great piece. Whoops, that's what I get. All right, this, I haven't tried on because I feel like 
Um, I'm, I'm liking all the cozy stuff right now, especially for a lot of walks with my dog. Um, this is a striped pullover. It's kind of nice because it's a little bit longer, so it kind of covers the bum a little bit. This is, the, I think, a Canadian brand that I've sold a couple times, and I have a few things listed, but it's L-O-L-E, so LOL. Not sure if it's picking up, but this is size extra large. So it does have a little logo back here on the top of the back shoulder, not logo, but like the L stitched in. Um, I do have a jacket by this brand and it's a size extra large. I want to say I got it in a box of some type. Uh, and I listed that one pretty hot cause the comps were pretty high. That one still hasn't sold. So this one has some light pilling. I'm probably only expecting about 15 to 20 for this, but some of the things from that brand can do fairly well, at least based off of comps. And on that note, I'm going to take a quick pause for the sponsor of today's video, which is Upside. Upside is a completely free app. And in fact, if you aren't using the app, you can download the app for free and get cash back and you can support this channel. <laughs> so it's like a win-win for everyone. Uh, Upside has been supporting this channel for a few months now, and I think I'm at $82 in cash back. And that basically is me filling up my gas. And so every time I need to get gas, which I feel like is all the time, and our gas prices in California are still between five and $6. Um, every time I need to get gas, if I'm in a new area, I just look for the nearest gas station. They usually have a list to choose from so I can see how much cash back, what the total price will be, and I can select something that I think is the best deal for me. I usually get with my gas somewhere between 10 and 20 cents back per gallon and it adds up. I also recently wanted pizza. I don't know. I don't eat a lot of pizza, but I just had a craving and they opened a new Domino's in my town and I'm not a huge Domino's fan, but I was like, yeah, let me go support this new, you know, franchise business. And I ended up getting 10 bucks, 10 bucks cash back for ordering a couple pizzas. And it was wonderful. That's all I can say. So if you haven't tried Upside yet, I'm not sure what you're waiting for. <laughs> it's so easy, but you, to get started, you can download the free Upside app and you can do that in either the app store or the Google play store. And you can use my promo code, common tags, to get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. So I highly recommend giving it a shot. And you can actually pay yourself by getting gift cards. You can do PayPal. You can have it direct to your checking account. And um, there's a lot of options on how you can pay out the, the cash back, but it's super easy. I'm such a huge fan and I can't wait for that little mini vacation um, next year when I get enough of my cash back. So Upside, thank you so much for sponsoring another video. Be sure to check them out and back to another bag. I can't believe I didn't start with this. <laughs> I don't know. There's, uh, you know, some brands that you see people picking up and you're like, oh, this, yeah, Skims. I've never found Skims until now. Uh, ironically, this was the day I was at the bins with Tracy and Danica shout out to my Texas reseller friends. And Tracy actually found a Skims item. It was a little bit flawed, but I was like, I would still take it if I were you. It's still gonna sell. Um, and then later that day, another bin, a couple hours later, I found my own Skims item. So the tag is a little bit hard to read, but it's Skims, size medium, small medium. And these are just a pair of cozy, um, I don't, I, I want to call them like teddy bear pants, but I know that's not what they're called, but they're just fuzzy. <laughs> Straight leg. Uh, some people wear them with like a little crop top, but yeah, I was pretty excited to find these. You know, they retail for like 70 or $80, this, this same pair of pants. So it's not like it's going to sell for $500, but it's a new brand I've kept an eye out for. So that's always fun to find. And uh, I think I priced these around 60. So I'm hoping for, you know, somewhere between 40 and 50, I believe. But yeah, we'll give it a go. All right, here's another sweater by Moth. Yes, by Moth. This one's a size large. It's another one I'm trying not to try on. Uh, but it's just a really nice gray sweater. It's got a little bit of a dolman sleeve. It's a little bit of a shorter style and um, a turtleneck. I like the subtle stripe. I like the neutral. It's just a great, 
great item. I really want to try it on, but I'm going to go put this away over there because the size, because it's a really great basic. I think I'm expecting more in that 25 to 30 range for that one. Um, some of the other moth items I'm expecting a little less because they're smaller sizes, but you get the drill. All right. Mason scotch vest. This is a scotch and soda line. Um, and they've got vanity sizing. So it says size one. I think that's a size small, but it's just this cute little blue and black vest, open front vest. And I found one very similar to it. I think it sold for, I want to say it sold for a decent amount, like 50 or $60. I don't think I'm going to get that for that, but I might get 40 or 50 for it. We'll see. But it is a pretty expensive brand. For me personally, the brand doesn't usually sell the quickest, but I still pick it up, especially at the bins. All right, here are two pairs of anthropology pants, same size, same style, just different colors. Um, they are the Saturday Sunday line. And this is they're both a size small. They're just like a little comfy jogger pant. And yeah, some of the comps for these were 25 to 30. So that's what I'm hoping for. Pink, pretty much the same thing. Just a cute little pink color. I don't know if I wrote in the listing that I have an identical pair. Every time I do a haul and I think of this stuff, I want to go back and then I never go back, but I have the best intentions because sometimes I feel like someone might find one. And then if they know, especially with Poshmark, that there's an, a second pair in the same size, same style, they might want to bundle, but I never remember. So, you know, it is what it is. All right, here's an anthropology top that I think is pretty cute. I would wear this to like a little office holiday party because I don't know, it's got the little like, it kind of looks like festive, you know, fireworks or what are those things that shoot out, get glitter everywhere. You know what I'm talking about. It just looks like a festive top, but this is a size US 10. It's Maeve, little button front shirt, and I'm probably only gonna get about 25 maybe for that 2025 but I thought it was cute this just go I just emptied out the bag so I didn't have to keep turning this just goes to show I don't save the good stuff for the beginning and I don't make you wait until the end of a haul to show you my favorite stuff it's just all mixed in sitting in bags for weeks until I get around to filming I love finding Johnny Wes at the bins and this is Jade which is a line by Johnny Wes that I've never tried selling but it does say Johnny Wes on the tag this is a size large. I, it's not my style because it's got a baby doll look and those tops for me, I don't know. They just, I think if I were, no. I, I Baby dolls never looked good on my style, but I do think this is gonna look absolutely adorable on someone. I love the sleeves and I love the print. So it's kind of a really nice spring item. Some of the comps for this exact top were in the range of 50 to 70. So I think I started this at 70 um, and I'm hoping for, you know, probably right around 50. But yeah, I love finding Johnny Was at the bins. This is Young, Fabulous and Broke. It's not the best selling brand for me. It also doesn't get that much, but you know, when I see it out and it's a cute style, like this has um, a roll tab sleeve, so it's kind of a cropped dolman sleeve hoodie and it's tie dye. So I feel like this is really cute for the season throw on with a tank top and some leggings and it's a really cute little outfit. This is a size small and I think the comps, small medium, and I think the comps were 20 to 25 for that. So all my comps are estimates. It's basically 20 to 30% off my asking price is what I'm expecting unless it sits for a while. And I say this all the time because sometimes people will send me an offer that's really low and say, but you said you were gonna get this in a video or you said that this was the price in the video. And I'm like, I can't remember this morning, let alone how I price something. I'm just trying to share prices to be transparent about these are not all going to get some huge amount of dollars. A lot of this is bread and butter. A lot of this will only sell between 20 and $30. And I just like to share that to hopefully be helpful. Um, because I remember as a new reseller, I would find, I would watch some of my favorite resellers and I would see them pick up certain brands and I, I would get so excited to find them at a thrift store and they didn't share how much it was gonna maybe sell for. And I would maybe pay $10 for something and I'd get home 
and it was my fault for not looking up comps. And I would get home and I'd be like, oh, this might only sell for $25, but my favorite reseller, she picks this up. I think that's one of the reasons why I share approximate comps because I don't want anyone to ever go through that, what I did, but I'm sure people still do. And I'm sorry. Um, this was an interesting tag. So I looked it up and it says on one side of the tag, Katharina. And on the other side of the tag, it says Hovman, H-O-V-M-A-N. And it is going to be hard to read, but that's the Katharina, right? Katharina. If it were Katarina, it wouldn't have the H right there. Katharina Hoffman. This is an expensive person. <laughs> I don't think it's just a, I mean, I guess she's a designer. Um, yeah. So this is a little button front jacket. And I knew the tag looked intriguing. It's got some snaps on the front, so it's not button front. The reason it looked even more intriguing was when I looked at the material tag and it said designed in Germany. And I was stoked. Um, it's linen blend. And yeah, so I looked it up. Some of her stuff sells for 100, 200, 300 or more dollars on the resale market pre-owned. So I don't know much about Katharina, if that's how you even say it. But I hope that this jacket sells for a lot. I think I priced this at like 99. And I'm hoping maybe, maybe for 60 to 70. But I couldn't find anything exactly like this. So you know, with some of those types of items, I'll aim a little high. And then if they don't sell for a while, I will bring down the price. But I'm always excited to find a new designer. All right, here's a little cloth and stone button front striped shirt. This gives me major spring summer vibes, but I wasn't going to leave it at the bins. Cloth and stone, and then it has the anthropology tag. So it's more of a recent anthro item, probably in the last, you know, two to three years. And it's a pretty classic style. So I'll probably get about 20 to 25 for that. This is sundry size two, which it's vanity sizing. So the size two, I think is a medium, right? Zero is extra small. One is small. Two is medium. Uh, this says lay weekend. And it's just a little graphic tank. Uh, sundry usually sells well for me, but it's not like some astronomical amount. So this tank will probably sell for about $20, maybe down to 15. I, I don't think I've ever sold a sundry t um, tank, but I have sold quite a few of their lightweight sweaters, like graphic sweaters. Those usually get somewhere between 25 to 30 for most of them. So I'm assuming the tank will be in that 15 to 20 range. This is an REI long sleeve men's shirt. So an active shirt with right back here on the neck is some reflective accents. And I think there was some reflective on the arm. Maybe not. But um, if you're running at night, having a little reflective on the back is nice because that means cars can maybe see you if they're coming up on you. Oh, no, it was there was something there's something reflective else. I might just be losing my mind and seeing things. But anyways, this will probably get 15 to 20. Again, REI, base layer. It's not going to get much, but I'm okay with that because it's the right season. I have never picked up FootJoy products, but I have sold a couple from men's thread up boxes and they do sell. Um, and when I looked up retail prices, it's actually pretty pricey. This is Dry Joys by FootJoy. I picked it up because it's a jacket, like a windbreaker. And I feel like if you're golfing in the fall, winter, spring, and you need a jacket, this just looks like it would work. <laughs> oh, sometimes I worry about myself. Uh, the only downside was, is there are some marks. I'm not sure if it's going to pick up um, that I didn't realize when, when I was at the bins, but it just says dry joys on the sleeve. It's got the little foot joy back here logo. It's just, an, it feels like it's a really good quality. And when I did a Google lens search of this, some very similar, if not the same retail for like $150, dollars or $160. Crazy. So I'm probably, cause it is flawed, only going to get maybe 25 to 30 in better condition. I might be able to get 40, 45. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a shot. I it's the bits. All right. Rachel Comey, Rachel Comey jeans actually have some really decent comps. 
these, we'll see. I've, I've sold Rachel Comey a couple times. She's got, uh, she's pretty expensive, but some of her clothing doesn't sell for that much. I think I have a dress listed by her. I think I've sold some shoes of Rachel Comey. Her shoes tend to do better than her clothing for me. I was pleasantly surprised when I looked up jeans. A lot of the comps were between 50 and 150 pre-owned. So these are just a pair of ankle, straight leg, medium wash, nothing fancy or exciting, but yeah, um, it's the bins. And whenever I find a designer at the bins, I'm usually pretty thrilled. All right, the unfortunate thing is, is I have a bag of stuff under here and I've been piling on top of it. So, well, I'm trying to keep things off the floor but I think I'm doing a terrible job. That's fine. This is why I lint roll and my chatty work with me <laughs> so much. All right, I've got a couple pairs of shoes. There is a pair of Doc Martens. These are not the most exciting Doc Martens. These are kind of like a work. I don't know. Um, they are Doc Martin on the bottom, also some rocks, Maine, England. Uh, these are an older style. I was able to look up the style number and also do a Google lens search. I think I found one that's listed for like 70, 60, 70. So I'm selling these. They are, they do have some light scuffs, not a big deal. They don't have the typical like yellow Doc Martin trim, but, uh, yeah, I'm still hoping for maybe 40, 50 for these. We'll see. Little kids. It's the bins. What can I say? Uh, Absolutely adorable little Keen sandals, pink, washable, and the size, I can read it. Sometimes this size dot is um, rubbed off and I've made that mistake before. So these are 10 US little girls, pretty good condition, perfect for spring and summer next year. Uh, Keen, this style for adults in really good condition, tend to sell between, you know, right around that 30, 35-ish mark. Little, little girls or little kids like this might sell for 18 to 20, somewhere in that range, but pretty adorable. All right, these are a pair of Sorel boots and I wish they were just a smidge bigger because then I would probably wear them a little bit before listing, but they are listed. They're Sorel, little cute ankle boots. These are size eight and a half. And um, yeah, I found the style number. I think, you know, Sorel is one of those brands that I'll always try and find comps for the exact style because you could sell, like I sold a pair of flawed knee high lace up boots, I think like a couple weeks ago and even flawed, they sold for a hundred dollars, but then I can find some snow Sorel boots that I can't give away for $40. So it's definitely a hit or miss brand. I think the comps for this style were in the 60 ish range. So if I could get 50 or 60, I'd be pretty happy. There's some light scuffs, but they're still in good shape and a cute style. One more pair that I put in a separate bag. These actually sold. I do have a couple solds. Uh, these are a pair of fry boots and they're not in the best condition. So I priced these pretty low. Now this style, which I did find the exact style name of it, um, in great condition can get $100. These are not in great condition. So I priced them, I wanna say it like 50 something, like right around 50. And I got an offer for 40, I think. But you can see it's not a leather that I'm gonna attempt to try and clean. Now maybe someone could take these to a leather professional and they can maybe clean up some of the scuff marks. For me, I would rather list them, disclose the flaws, and have someone else figure it out. If it were me, I would wear these as is because I would also get them scuffed on the first time wearing them. And they are pretty cute. So um, these are gonna be shipped out tomorrow. And I probably spent $5 on them in thins and they're gonna, you know, they sold very quickly for $40. I'm thrilled with that. All right, this is REI, the most adorable fleece. I absolutely love this color. It's a purple color, but definitely is more like that purple gray, you know, shade. I don't know if that's a thing, but that's what I'm calling it. Um, this is kind of like a Patagonia fleece. It's not Patagonia, REI. Not going to get too much, but I did find this exact same fleece listed and sold a couple times for, I want to say around the 40 mark, 35, 40 mark. So that's what I'm hoping for. I think it's absolutely adorable. Size medium, women's, comfy, cozy. I don't know about where you live, but a lot of people are creeping into winter. And so soft and cozy is what I'm excited about most right now. All right, this is a brand I've sold once before. 
I know they sell some activewear specifically. I know I've seen some tennis stuff. I think it might be a UK or U- European brand, but it's Elise or Ellis. Uh, this is just a little cropped full zip sweater. And I thought it was pretty cute. So I grabbed it. I think the comps for this are 20 to 25. So nothing major, but it is a size large US. So that's always exciting for me. Or, you know. <laughs> uh, this is Lucky Brand. The style is Mid-Rise Crop Ava and they're size 10. So Lucky Brand I've sold quite a bit of. I like the button fly on this. Medium wash, raw hem. And I actually tried these on. They do stretch. They fit, but I decided to sell them. Um, I kept the jeans I'm wearing right now instead. Uh, but yeah, Lucky Brand, you know, I'll probably only get about 25 for those, but it is a brand that people are comfortable with and do buy. Um, and I pass on it a lot, but there are certain things like a decent pair of jeans at the bins I'll pick up and I'm happy about it. All right, this is a Free People top and I've sold this same top before, but it was different color, um, color scheme. This is kind of a purple gray. <laughs> it probably, no, it's not the same as the REI, but it's similar. So I apparently got a couple purple gray-ish things, but it's got a little cutout on the front and then it's the same cutout on the back. But this top does not sell for much. It also didn't sell quickly for me for the last time, but I still think it's really adorable. So I'll probably only get about $20 for it. It will probably take a year to sell. Sometimes I know that going in, it's a listing, it's the bins, I'm happy. I don't need to sell things right away. So, all right, two more bags over here. All right, this is a dress that's pretty, I picked up kind of for style um, and I've never sold this Molly Bracken. I think I had picked up something that was a collab recently, so I recognized the name, but I picked this up because it's a midi dress, kind of a fit and flare, so it you know flares out a little bit at the waist. It is a size extra small, but it fit on the size six mannequin. But I don't know if you can see the color, Basically, it's kind of got a lace overlay on top of this colorful print underneath. So it gives this really kind of fun, very subtle um, statement. And I thought it was cute. So I looked up comps. They're pretty much like 25, 30 at best. So that's what I'm aiming for. And I'm, I'm A-OK -okay with that. OK, huge bins haul. I hope you have a snack. I just got a sip of water. Uh, so this is a brand I've sold once before. So I kind of spotted the tag and was like, I think that's a good one. Um, but if you can read, it's in cursive. It says Le Copan is my attempt at whatever that is. But it says blue over here. So this is a designer brand. Um, and honestly, there are a couple things in here that I've taken photos for that I still need to list as I'm filming this. They'll all be listed by the time this video goes up. I'm not sure how I'm gonna price this yet, but it's just a little button front cardigan, knit. It's a uh, wool blend, I think. So I haven't done my research on this yet, but it is a pretty expensive brand. I believe it's probably going to be somewhere in the 50 to 100 range as far as what I'm expecting, but I still need to, again, a couple of these, I. I took photos, it's just in my photo bank. And I think that's some of this stuff too. So, all right, this is my favorite cycling brand. I used to be a cyclist, I still own a bike, I just don't get out to ride like I used to. Um, and this is just a brand that I personally wore pretty much exclusively, which is Castelli. And um, this is just a women's cycling shirt. The, the way you can identify Castelli is that they've got this little is it a lobster? I think it's a lobster. To be honest, I just have never really thought of what their logo is, but um, Castelli is also written down here. It's got the back pockets, which cyclists use for food, snacks, and this is a size medium. So this probably retailed for a hundred bucks. It's been a while since I bought any Castelli, but it's not the cheapest brand. It's not the most expensive, but it's a, it's a, it's a decent cycling brand. Like I would pick this brand up most of the time if it's in good condition. So I still need to list this. I'm guessing I'll probably be able to get 30, maybe up to 40 for that. And then there were these Lululemon, a pile of Lululemon tees. I think they're all about the same size. 
Did I have one more? I thought I had a black one too. Oh yeah. Um, so I think I had four of them and I think they're all because some of them have the size written on the inside of the hemline. So this is a size 10. They were all in the same bin, but this is just the Swiftly tee. So you can kind of subtle, see the subtle Lululemon logo on that one. This is, says running or something. Uh, I can't read. Runner up. Is that what it says? It's hard for me to read. Um, it's supposed backwards. But this is a V-neck, Lululemon. Again, I'm assuming it's a size 10. And I don't think this one had the, yeah, this one didn't have the size tag. This is a, just a little orange. This does have the size tag, so it's a size 10. And it's just a kind of basic Lululemon. And this is a V-neck. So kind of like the black one, it kind of has some ruching on the back and then the V-neck on the front. So I'm kind of tempted to keep one of these, but then I'm like, no, Courtney, you do not need it. Just sell them. Those will all probably sell somewhere between 20 and 30. I'm gonna try and find the exact style, um, but probably closer to 20 to 25. I'll see if the runner up one is anything fun. Like if that could maybe get 30. I'm guessing it won't, but it's great to find Lululemon at the bins, especially the lightweight stuff like that, because it costs so little and it's a good size and January. Yes, that's all I'm gonna say. This is a pair of joggers, but like casual joggers. Um, this is standard James Purse or just James Purse. I don't know, does every tag of James Purse say standard or is that just one line of his? I've never thought about it. I think everything I've ever found is standard James Purse, but they're just joggers. This is a brand that's very expensive for a lot of casual items. Um, and I personally would not spend $300 on a tee, but that's that's the price point for a lot of the, the basics for James Purse. So these joggers will probably resell for somewhere between 40 to 50. Um, I just sold a standard James Purse thermal yesterday and it was men's and it was flawed and it sold for 39 in a couple days. So that'll be in the next haul. Um, but yeah, so the brand does sell. It just seems very basic. This is a Sundance top, which is extra small. It's a little cotton button front. I don't have it buttoned right now, but very subtle stripe. Kind of a nice spring summer top. Oh man, this is my fault. So I actually washed this because when I was taking photos, I noticed a little spot. So I was like, oh, instead of listing this, as is, I'm gonna try and get the spot out. So I ran it through the wash and I got a hole in it. So, and I'm not gonna repair that. Not for a Sundance top. So this is gonna get donated. Um, and I hate donating flawed, so this might actually be tossed because some other reseller might pick it up, not see the flaw, and I don't want that circle of life to happen. But man, I thought I was getting out a little tiny spot and then I caused a hole. But I guess it's better that I did that than someone buying it and them experiencing that. But also, what can I say? These are a pair of Madewell <laughs> yellow striped pants. How fun. It almost is like clown-like. I'm sure someone could rock this with the right outfit. I couldn't. But, you know, spring, summer, someone with really great style could style this and not make it look like a clown. But for me... That's what it looks like. Made well, size small. I love elastic waist and it's comfy, cozy, and cute. So I'm hoping to maybe get, you know, somewhere 25-ish for those. Here's a Rebecca Taylor top. Rebecca Taylor, I personally think a lot of the stuff is feminine and dainty, cute, well-made, usually a lot of like silks and nice materials. Uh, but it doesn't resell for a lot. It doesn't mean I don't pick it up. It just means I'm aware that it might take a while to sell and it might not sell for a lot. But this I thought was another nice little outfit. Like you could put this on with a pair of jeans and it's got some sparkle to it. This could be a cute little New Year's top. I like the high neck. Um, it's got sheer sleeves. This is a very dark blue, at least in my vision. I got it up against some black items and it's a very dark blue. So yeah, but I like the sparkle 
And with this, I'm probably only going to get, you know, 20 to 25. It probably retailed for $150, but it's just not a brand that I do particularly well with. All right, here's my, another random item of the day. I was with Bob Buys. Um, I think I did most of her thrifted stuff in my last bins haul, but this one, I took a while for me to photograph and get listed. I have this up on auction as well. And I decided to take a chance on it because it's an in and out work shirt. And I was so thrown off because in and out work shirts are white. Like they have white outfits. If you're not on the West coast and you've never been to an in and out, it's a burger joint, uh, start in LA. I eat there at least once a month when I'm out thrifting, but, uh, their outfits are white. Like they're notorious for having these very white head to toe outfits. So I was very thrown off by blue in and out. And uh, so there were a whole bunch of them that were on hangers for dry cleaners and someone just quit their job and donated it all. And anyways, they're, they're older and they're not in the best condition. Like this one has a little tiny hole in it. I started this at $19 on auction. I don't think there's any interest in it so far. So I told Bob Buys, I said, this may be a mistake. So I grabbed three of them. So I'm going to try and sell three of them. I might only get 10 bucks a piece for them, but I did find a couple of these had sold for like 25 when I did my 365 day research on eBay. So I think they'll sell. It might just take a while. So I'll try it on auction. If there are no bites, I might just list it at 25 and then just take best offer. But sometimes I like to take chances on that stuff. I know that I want to say it's Ginger Marvin that maybe sells Chick-fil-A employee outfits. I could be wrong. Could be mixing up people. But um, sometimes it's just fun to give things a chance. Try things out. This has some lint on it. All right. Here is a designer. Mage, Maj, M-A-J-E. Someone can correct me below. This is a dress, navy blue. It has like a faux wrap front draped look. Very cute stock photos. Has some um, shoulder pads. This is a pretty expensive brand. I don't ever have the best of luck with it, but it is lightweight from the bins. It doesn't appear that there are any flaws. And so I am hopeful that maybe I'll be able to get 40, maybe up to 50. It's one of those brands that when I price in Poshmark, it will give me the recommended price always higher than what I price it at. It's just weird. I need to move quicker because I've got still quite a bit to go. This is a brand that I think I picked up once before. I don't think it's anything to like, I, I don't think it's a high dollar item, but I thought this was kind of cute. It's a little mock neck striped, kind of a light brown or tan and blue. I thought with a pair of jeans this would and pair of boots, this would look pretty cute. Stripes, in my opinion, are always in style, some years more so than others, but size medium, definitely a fitted style on the mannequins. So I think this is a little bit, you know, it, it's, a, it's a slim fit, but yeah, lightweight. I'm probably gonna get 15 to 20 for that. This is a free people sweater. I need to do a little sweater shaving with this, but it's button front. It's got some lace on the bottom. The top button right here is a different button. I don't know if someone missed a button and decided to do that just as a little accent or if that's originally how it is. It kind of looks like that might be originally how it is because the buttons kind of have a similar vibe. But besides having some pilling, I thought it was a cute style. I'll probably only get 25 for that because it does have some pilling, but I'll do my best to get what, what I can out. And yeah, this is Wilfred Free, a little corduroy skirt. Wilfred is an Aritzia brand, if it's showing. <laughs> um, and I like selling it. These days, it usually doesn't sell for too much for me, so I'll probably only get about, you know, it's pretty tiny too. This is a size two, so I'll probably get 18 to 20 for that. But it is a pretty, it's not expensive, it's just, I don't know. How would you guys rate Aritzia as far as price? I feel like it's a, a little bit more expensive than Madewell. That's how I would price it. So yeah, this is an anthropology pair of pants. They have lots of stretch, so they're almost like a legging and they're black on the back and this gray um, knit on the front. It's Lilka, if you can see right there. 
And yeah, they're size small. I like anything that's kind of easy and stretchy and someone could wear this to their casual job. It's got some little button accents. It's skinny leg. So a cute little pair of heels, maybe a red top. And I think this would be pretty cute. So I'll probably get about 20 to 25 for that. It's not a super desirable item, but um, I like bread and butter and I probably always will because I don't have time to thrift anymore. Uh, Lulu's. Tracy handed this one to me as well. It did have a little spot, which I got out, but isn't this adorable? It kind of reminds me of Dorothy, like Wizard of Oz. Doesn't she have a little outfit with this kind of blue check print? But it's just got some smocking, spaghetti stripe, spaghetti, <laughs> spaghetti strap, little mini lined, absolutely adorable. I'll probably only get you know, 15 to 20 for that. Lulu's certain items do well, like bridesmaids dresses and certain dresses. Um, but kind of their casual stuff doesn't do that great for me. So I was tempted to keep this or give this to my friend Lauren and I, I might still, it is listed, but I might pull the listing. It's REI. It's a size large. And if you can see right there, it just has a very subtle print, just a really great, like, like hiking shirt casual shirt. So it does have some pilling and that's why I'm thinking about pulling it because I don't want to depill it. <laughs> so we'll see. I mean, I don't need any more clothing, so I try not to do that, but then sometimes I do that. All right. A pair of rag and bone men's pants. And these are the standard issue fit to slim leg. And they're just kind of a green ish khaki color. And yeah, rag and bone pants for men. I feel like I've sold it before. It doesn't sell quickly for me. It's a pretty expensive brand, but just as with women, it doesn't usually sell all that quick or for that much. So that one did have like a very faint spot somewhere. So I'm only really expecting about 25, maybe 30 for those, but they probably retailed for 150 to 200. So not that that matters in the resale market. I think I just think of quality, you know, like quality pieces. Sometimes I would rather buy something on the resale market for $40 and I know it's a higher quality brand than maybe going to Target and buying something that might not last for as long. Um, not that there's anything wrong with Target clothes. I own plenty of it. These are a pair of Levi's Wedgie Straight and um, a lot of these are on Nordstrom Rack on major sale. So I think I'm going to go in and bring down the price of all my wedgies because they just aren't moving for me. And I think I just priced too high and you can get a new pair for what I'm pricing them at. So sometimes it is helpful, especially if you're doing some Christmas shopping and you're on some retail sites. If you see some things on sale and you have them yourself, like uh, Sorel boots, like Levi's, Nike, um, sometimes it's helpful to maybe go and check your prices. I don't have all the time in the world to do that, but I think about it sometimes at least. All right, last bag. This was actually given to me by someone who watches this channel. I was at the bins with Tracy and Danica and someone was standing next to me while we were waiting for new bins. I believe his name was Mike, but that was a month and a half ago. <laughs> I don't think people realize that I thrift and I won't do the video until much later because I get everything listed and then it sits in a pile and whatever. But I think his name was Mike. He said, oh, you can remember that. And I'm thinking, I can't remember my own name half the time. But Mike, if that's your name, thank you so much. <laughs> he handed me this Eileen Fisher kind of career jacket. He said, I know you like Eileen, which I do. It's a bread and butter for me. So this is a size medium. Uh, I think I need to add in the listing that it's three fourth length sleeves, but I like the shimmer. And uh, you do never need to give me anything from the at the bins ever, but that was very sweet of him. And um, yeah, I think the comps for this are somewhere in that 40 to 50 range. Eileen Fisher, a piece like that, it might sit for a little bit, but hopefully I'll be able to get at least 40 for that. And um, it's just, it's a favorite brand. I don't know what else to say. This is a J. Crew, but it's a large tall. So it's a tall size. Nice pair of denim drawstring pants, kind of a slim leg pant. And there's some pockets, definitely more of that spring, summer, casual vibe. But these are, I think, pretty recent. I think they, these were made in the last year. And because they're a tall size, I'm actually, based off of comps, expecting maybe 35 to 40 for these, 
which would be wonderful. I love when I can find mall brands that sell for a decent amount. And yeah, I would be thrilled with that. I haven't tried to sell Miss Bee in a while, but these are just so, so dark black. And they also have a little bit of distressing with some sequins. I don't know if it's showing, but I thought it was kind of fun. Just instead of your basic black pant, you got a little bit of a pop of sequins. Um, there is no crazy decorations on the back pockets. So usually that's a sign that <laughs> the Miss Me jeans won't do that well, but I still grabbed them. They're size 28, skinny, and they're just really dark black jeans. And I don't know about you, but black jeans tend to fade pretty quickly in the wash. So I decided to grab them. I'm probably only gonna get about 20 to 25, but it's a listing and I know someone will, will rock them. Someone that likes Miss Me will really love them. All right, just putting everything in front of me. This is a pair of framed denim. These are a skinny pair of pants, but it was the bins and they're size 31. So they do run a little bit small. I did try them on um, and they don't have that much stretch. So I think this would probably be better for a size 30. But when someone already owns a pair of this exact style from Frame and they like them, they know exactly what size works for them. They can just order a pair online. So uh, with these, I'm expecting 25 to 30. But yeah. All right. Everything's falling on me. I thought this would be pretty cute for someone, especially like a holiday party or just this winter. I love bronze, kind of goldish color. This is Cabby, and I'm not a huge Cabby fan personally. I used to pick it up quite a bit in my early days, and then I stopped picking it up. Um, but this is 100% leather. So I thought, you know, why not? I think someone could rock this. It's a size 12. Um, it doesn't fit my chest, but that's pretty common with button front. So I thought it was pretty cute. There are some very, very faint, faint, very faint marks on the back of the sleeves a little bit. It's not going to pick up at all. It's not obvious, but I did note it. It might bring down the price a little bit. I'm still hoping maybe 20 to 25. If it didn't have those very, very faint marks, it's almost like it took a little bit of the sheen away in some spots. But if it didn't have that, maybe I'd get 35, 40. Um, but I still think someone could rock it. So here's a pair of Madewell shorts. These are new with tags. These are summer 2022. So someone bought these, didn't like them, didn't want to return them donated them to wherever <laughs> could well um and it ended up in a happy little bin so these are size extra large they retailed i think for 69 if i remember correctly because i did find them on the website and uh not the right season but very recent i'm i think i priced those at 39 expecting to maybe sell them for about 30 which would be more than half the price of the original uh price so here is an Abercrombie & Fitch dress. It's nothing too fancy. This was when I was with Tracy and Danica. And I'm these days just trying to pick stuff up. I am trying to keep listing with all the real estate stuff going on. And I thought this was just a really adorable little classic dress. I love the stripes. It almost has like a little bit of a nautical flair. I love the little button accents. It's got a slit. It's a midi length. And it's got some smocking on the back for comfort and fit. So it's a size small Abercrombie. I'll probably only get about 20 for this, but I thought it was cute and I'm sure someone will look adorable in it. This is a Free People little tunic dress. And Tracy handed this to me. She didn't realize, nor did I, that there's a faint, couple faint spots on the front, on this front sheer part. To me, the way it lays, you wouldn't notice at all when wearing it, but I did disclose it, obviously. It's just the Metal Free People tag. It's got a cold shoulder right here. And I'll probably only get about 15 because it's got the spots, but I still think it's adorable. If it were in good condition, I'd probably only get 25. So, um, but I like it. This one is another item that's not listed. It will be listed before this video goes up there's just no size in this. So this is a little girl's one piece, little jumpsuit, one piece. I don't know what they call it, but I saw handmade in New Jersey and the brand is called Sophia and Belle. When I did some research after I bought it at the bins, it's um, an Etsy store and she makes some really cute little kid stuff. 
The problem is, is there's no size in this and I don't have a small person to approximate. You know, like if it's an adult item, I can kind of throw it on myself and go, oh, it's too snug or oh, like I can compare it to myself. Kids, I have nothing to compare it to. And because this is not a common brand, I don't have any on the resale market with me measurements and I don't, I don't know. So it seems like a lot of these are selling between 2T and 4T. So I think what I'm going to do is sell, sell it under, four, under 2T and just say, I don't know the size of this, you know, on the website for this brand, it kind of looks like it's 2T to 4T. So your child might need to grow into it. I don't know. It's been sitting as photos in a draft for three weeks now because I just don't know what to do with it. But it's so adorable. It's like it's got a little halter. It's so cute. <sighs> yeah, but I didn't know that. All right. Is this the last item? I think so. This is an anthropology. It's Eerie and Allie. Yeah. Size large. The only reason I picked this up is I thought this would be really cute with a pair of shorts over a swimsuit. It's just a little tank, but it's got an open back. And like it's open. Um, yeah, this brand is not a high dollar item from Anthropology, but it's a size large. I thought it was pretty cute. It's a very lightweight at the bins. I'll probably only get about $15 for this, but yeah, that's it. That's my huge bins haul. Be sure to hit the thumbs up. Thank you again, Upside. Be sure to check out their app. Info is down below. And I'll be back soon with another video. I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.